Good morning, and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is an inspiration for STEM students. My name is Dr. Gina Henderson. Um, this morning, STEM students, I would like to talk to the gifted students. So, gifted students. What does it mean to be a gifted student? It means that you are going to be tested, um, and if they're going to look at the way your critical thinking skills, and they're going to class you according to your critical thinking skills. But I'm just going to talk about being the parent of gifted students. Being the parents of gifted students means that you have to make sure that they're they are being channeled um, in uh, different ways. For me, I know that they're scholastic, and I know. Um, that they're very sharp. But what I try to do is I always try to give them an outlet, an alternative, something that they can fall back on because one thing that I notice is that they often get um, bored. Um, and so I have to make sure that I can always um, channel that energy. And I also want you all to know that when our students are being tested, and I don't know why it is, but our students are always tested as ADHD, but I can tell you this, that um, ADHD kids still can make it in this world um, just because you have been classified. Um, it's just the way that you learn. It's nothing wrong with you as a student. It's just the way that you learn. And so it's the same thing um, with gifted students. And I know a lot of successful ADHD kids, but I do want to tell you that what um, I see teachers do is that they often go ahead and that kid, because that kid is asking a lot of questions or because that kid may be impatient because they won't let the kid answer the question, they'll often put that kid in a, a corner somewhere. So, I mean, I've experienced this where I actually went to a teaching and this little black boy was in a corner and the teacher told me he couldn't participate but I want you to know that he basically knew all of the answers to the questions. So I was just amazed at the fact of the effort, the amount of effort that he was actually putting in and he actually knew um, the answers to the questions. So I looked at the fact that he wasn't being challenged and so he was asking a lot of questions and that was um, unfavorable. To his instruct to his instructor so i just want you to say i want to say to parents take an active interest in your kid go to their classroom because they label our kids at a very early age so you need to be able to go to that classroom and understand what's going on because this little boy that was happening to him and he was um in kindergarten okay so that that's very early uh, for them to, be, to, to classify our boys, okay? So we have some very bright boys out there and girls, and they are not being given the fair shot or opportunity of um, being tested for gifted. But parents, we can step in and we can improve that. So I want to thank you for going to work with Gina this morning. Have a great day. And if there are any inspirations that you've missed, please don't hesitate to go to the YouTube channel, Going to Work with Gina or Inspire Thank you.